So all you marriage. Hi. Papa only saw 10. This is how we will know. Papa, this is how we will know. Shh. This is how we will know that the 10 are the 10. And others will weed themselves out. <laughs> Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. Grab a seed of 1,000. If you have it, move forward. Move forward. Stand right here. A seed for 1,000. The 10 people come. Blessings. Blessings to you guys. Uh, somebody sent this video to me because... Uh, a lot of people are in comment section. Hey, I know this prophet. He, you know, he don't charge for money. He don't. He's not his thing. Somebody even said that. Uh, oh, he regretted even uh, asking people to sow one thousand for them to get married. All right. So a lot of people always want to say something, but you don't know the mind of these people. Their mind is always tangled with all this deception. So I want you to listen to this with me okay see the devil has deceived you to think that when you're told to give a seed to sacrifice you're buying a miracle no you're not nobody can buy anything from God there are certain curses you don't break by prayer so you see that you see exactly what he said if you have been told to sow a seed you think you're buying God and all of them said something Every one of them that will tell you to sow a seed for so, so, so amount for days, they will tell you the same exact same thing that, hey, you cannot buy a miracle. But why are they keep on saying the same thing? Why? They will want to defend themselves so bad, so much, but they're still sounding dumb. There are certain changes you do. Why didn't we just pray, Father, forgive us of our sins? We have sinned so much as a people. Take away our sins. Why did God have to kill his son? Do you hear what he just said? Why? Okay, so do, do God pay Jesus to kill him or do Jesus pay him to kill him? They always want to, you know, make themselves sound so great. But at the same time, you're talking to your gullible members that cannot think for themselves. Why? Why did Abraham have to put his son on the altar? They will keep on using scriptures to back up what they are lying or deceiving people. For them, talking about Abraham's sacrifice, is it about money? It's not about money. I think about this. Why did he have to put his son on the altar for God to say from heaven, Abraham, now I know that you love me. Meaning you cannot prove God you love him except you lay your life down. That's so good. The greatest sign of love to God is not prayer. The greatest love to God is not assumption, it's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Do you hear the members saying, no, oh, sacrifice of praise? Sacrifice of praise, thanksgiving, uh, 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 worship. That's all that you can give to God. He's trying to make people not to judge him for asking 10 people to sow 1,000 according to his papa. The Lord Jesus said it like this. He said, the greatest sign of love is for one to lay down his life for another. Something that doesn't cost you, God will never move, be moved by it. Mm. <laughs> for you to give your life to God has cost you a lot of things and that moves God for you to go and worship and sacrifice of praise has cost you something it don't gotta be money whenever it, it comes up with the money thing in other means you can buy a miracle. You can bribe God. Whenever money shows up, people love ministers. Personally, I love ministers. We give to a lot of ministers. We help those in the, at least in the hospitals with our Henry Monique Foundation. We love giving. A lot of people will just walk, come up to some pastors, prophet, give them money willingly.
We are not against offering. We are not against seed. We are not against tithe. We are not against arm giving, free will. We are not against all this. But what we are against is the trick behind it, the witchcraft behind it, the bewitchment behind it, the deception behind it. That's all. At least uh, my wife, my mom, they love ministers. They give to these people without them asking. But because they are greed, these people are greed, they will want to defend, defend themselves using some unnecessary scriptures. So Satan has deceived so many people to think that, oh, if you give, you're buying a miracle. If you're taught to, 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 to sow a seed, it means uh, 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 that person is false. You will notice the people who say this, they cannot manifest anything. They have zero power. They have, they have never delivered anybody. They have never changed anybody. They have never done nothing spiritual. They just have Jesus on their lips. Yeah. The, 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 if you can hear the global members saying yes, they always agree. How can these people change someone? What is that? Let me show you the scripture because he's now bragging. Luke chapter 10, and I'm going to read verse 18 to 20. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as light fallen from heaven. Verse 19, Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon scorpions and serpents, and over all the powers of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Verse 20, Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. They came back acting, oh, oh, oh demons, we are scared. Oh, Jesus, no. Do you know why Jesus Christ stopped them from saying that? If you go to uh, 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 Revelations, you see that there is a lot of witches and wizards false prophet, all those people perform the same miracle. So there is no different. So just, no, don't use that as an excuse. No, you need to rejoice because your name is written in the kingdom of heaven. That's the problem. That's what makes these people think they are so great. Do you know there's a lot of churches that are doing deliverance, healing, Secretly, nobody knows about them. They are not even on Facebook. I can't be bragging about my ministry, but this is what they do. They tell, they, they tell their members, and if, if it's not from God, Bible said man cannot receive nothing except it's, it has been given from heaven. It's not you. He's trying to defend, remember, over the seed that they are asking people. Lucy Natasha will come up and say, say the same thing. Clifford Dollar will still come up and say the same thing. Benny Hinn will come up and still say the same thing. All these persons, they will still come up and say the same thing. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Let's keep watching. But zero manifestation of this God. They have never helped anybody. They have never healed anybody. They have never changed anybody. It's a lot of theories about God. These people would never even want to bring, hey, this is God doing it. It's now them. Why? The only thing they will preach to you is salvation. But life is more than salvation. Jesus Christ our Lord said it like this. He said, I have come so that they may have life and life what? More abundantly. The Zoe life of God should flow in your physical life. If you're going to eat, live 80 years, you think God wanted you to live 80 miserable years of waiting for heaven? Tell people not to be lazy tell people to find something doing not when you tell them to so see that god is going to bless them multiply them that's deceiving nobody is on here to be poor remain poor forever nobody god has given everyone gift without re repentance so your gift makes room for you but all this has held the children of god hostage because they have become blind. You have bought into the doctrines of men. You have bought into the doctrines of men. 
and not the doctrine of God. This is a danger for you because you'll be praying and you'll notice these people that usually say this, they depend on their strength. They have never encountered God. They will call anybody that displays the power of God fake. Not that it matters. Souls are being saved anyway. We, we don't care about that. But it is a danger for you. It is a big danger for you because you can be religious thinking that you are spiritual, but yet God will reject you. I love that. He made a lot of points. That goes to everyone. That goes to everyone as a preacher. This gift, you can be, you can, you, you might know how to prophesy all your call numbers, call everything. That doesn't mean that you are in good time with God. It's, it's all about everyone. That's why Paul said, examine yourself. Who taught Cain and Abel to give sacrifices to God? Where did they learn it? I love what he's really bringing up. I want you guys to really relax and go back and read those scriptures. Who asked them to do it? Did any prophet told Ken and Abel, God told you to do this? They did all this willingly. A lot of you guys, they always tell you, Solomon, Solomon, he did this. Show me in the scripture that somebody, a prophet told Solomon what to do. Is willingly. What comes from your heart? They use all the scriptures to make people, oh, and their global members will be saying, oh. Why did that tradition continue? Why is it that Noah, the moment he came out of the ark, he built an altar, gave to God, and God said, you know what? I will never destroy the earth again. And nobody, I want you all to be paying attention to this. Nobody told Noah to do that. It's willingly, knowing who God is. A lot of people know who God is. They love God. They just look around and see some prophet that they want to bless them so much. It's a sacrifice. It's a willingness. And God honors that. It's not 100% sure. That God is going to multiply you. God honors your sacrifice. Always think about that. Have that in your mind. Don't do it because you want God to bless you. Because all that he's doing here is saying is just to make people, to bring wash people. When you give, God will multiply right away. What if we have to always focus in what God wants us to do? Not what these people and they always tell you, do it now, do it now. Not because Noah prayed. Not because God looked at what happened. God smelt the sacrifice. He said, dang, I won't do this again. <laughs> so it means sacrifice can convict God oh. more than your words. Oh my God. <laughs> I love to hear the voices of the global members. Everything that he has said. He never mentioned money from the scripture. Everything. He never mentioned money. But the gullible members are, wow. As soon as he will tell everybody, bring out your best sacrifice. Why is, he gonna, why is your best sacrifice going to be money? If you look around you as a believer who has been sowing the seed, believing all these lies and deception, the worldly people that live in your area, are you really better than them? Ask yourself this question. They're telling you, you, you have been to every conferences. So, 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 are you better than your friends that are not even going to these churches? Stop being lazy and let's st stop listening to this. Laziness is a disease. Yes, you're looking for a job, you don't get a job, you know, things are not right. That's awesome. God is seeing that you are trying. But sitting there, believing this, saying, wow, it don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. Faith without work is dead. So with love, with love, I love this brother. I'm only saying this because I don't like 
the deception that is going on. I don't like it. Tell the truth. Uh, 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 only the truth can set us free. But they see all this money thing is wickedness, is deception. Call evil, evil. Call evil, evil. This is not of God. This is bewitchment. Making people to come out to sow, not because of because they love God, but because you have caged their emotion, and you want them to be, to just come out. Oh, things is going to be great in a minute, and if things don't, doesn't work out, you tell them to keep on with it. Deception, the saving. My people perish for lack of knowledge. Stop defending things like this. They don't have any strong backup. They just only have the same scripture that you and I know. Study to show yourself approved. Remember, keep on praying, keep on believing. God love you. Be faithful. Bye.